As a rule, I try to keep my lessons impersonal, but the following story is relevant to today's discussion. Three years ago, my third ex-wife got together with my first ex-wife and wrote a book titled Fake Plants in the Fishbowl. It was a minor bestseller and the women made the round of talk shows. Yet, despite the book's theme of a new age of feminism and the fact that my exes made a lot of money, I still have to pay both of them alimony every month. Okay, that's a big fat lie. Never happened. Had you studied Buller and Burgoon's interpersonal deception theory, you might have spotted the nonverbal and verbal cues that indicated I was lying. And if you're a student of interpersonal communication, you must know this theory to be considered well-versed in the field. Merriam-Webster has six different definitions for the word theory, but all relate to the fact that theories are born from speculation, most often in the form of a hypothesis, a guiding assumption. Whether it's modular representation theory in math, the principal policy puzzle in political science, or set theory in music, every discipline has its own set of theories, principles, and concepts that govern research and propel our knowledge in the field. Most theories are predictive in nature, arguing that a set of conditions will lead to an inevitable outcome. For instance, if we mix chemical A with chemical B, bad things happen. Or, if we introduce stimulus X, people will react like <coughs> A principle is something recognized as an established fact, although most started out as theories. In science, unless the laws of nature are somehow broken, these theories are often foolproof. Take Newton's law of gravity, which you may know today as the axiom of what goes up. Other principles are not foolproof. One such example, Occam's razor, states that given all data, the simplest explanation for something is the most reasonable one. We can accept this statement as true while recognizing there are times when it doesn't apply. A concept is a general idea that is reasoned from specific examples. These tend not to be absolutes, as they can't be proven beyond doubt. For instance, not all people react to confrontation the same way or interpret a painting the same way, so we can't create principles or laws predicting human behavior. However, we can reason from studying humans a general idea of how they will react. It's safe to predict that when you see this picture, most of you will have an, aw, how cute moment, although some may react with, ugh, how sickeningly cute. Throughout your years in college, you have no doubt been exposed to numerous theories, principles, and concepts, some of which you will never revisit, while others will shape your future whether you realize it or not. While you may never find yourself quoting the binomial options pricing model theory on the job, your knowledge of that theory's hypothesis, no matter how deeply buried in your subconscious, will nonetheless help guide your decisions. Look back at your college career and pick a theory, principle, or concept that you feel will help guide your success in your post-college career. If you're not already, now is the time to become an expert on it. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. It's one of the exes. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh, I told you. I already sent the check. Wives. Newton?